So, I was supposed to make a video today. It was supposed to be about... Oh, oh what was I going to say? If only there was a way to remember things. Oh, I remember now. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, and today we are continuing our series on making a redstone computer using hexadecimal. So if you are new to redstone hex, I would highly recommend watching my previous video on the basics of hex in Minecraft. It will appear in the top right corner of your screen right about now. This video will go over the basics of comparators and how to build hex wires. If you already know how to use these, well then great, you're already set for today's lesson. So when it comes to hex memory, there are three main designs. There's the register, there's the memory loop, and then there is the shift register. And of course it starts raining. The first, thirst. The first of the three memory units is the simple register. The register is the basis for the other two registers. I personally like using this register when I make my PCs as they don't require a clock and are very easy to control. To build these registers, you will need to place a piece of redstone dust, followed by a comparator, and then a block. Then you will rotate 180 and do the same over here. If we place a torch here, you will see that it holds the signal, and if we break the torch, you will see that it still holds the signal. The only way it will not hold the signal is if we turn one of these to subtraction mode, place a dust, and then run a torch right there. The next of the three types of memory is the memory loop. I found this design from Koala Steamed and implemented a similar version in the Hydra 1004. To build this type, in short, is just build a very large register. So we'll place redstone dust, but instead of just adding one comparator, we'll add as many as we like. Then we'll place a block, come over here, and do the same. Once you have this built, you will need to design a clock so that you can manipulate one specific byte instead of having it just random bytes being selected at one time. The benefits to this type of memory is sheerly size. So here's a reference between the Hydra 1004 and 4 registers. At first glance, the registers look very like look a lot smaller. But you're not taking into account, but that is just the registers. There is no control unit. There's no synchronization, so they all are outputted at the same time. It's just the four registers, which makes the Hydro 1004 and memory loops a lot more practical for long-term memory. The final form of hex memory is the shift register. Now, there are several designs for a shift register, but for this video, I'll be using the design made by Crafty Mr. Man. Also, in case you haven't noticed something, I have switched to Minecraft Java Edition because I have yet to find a shift register that will work for Bedrock. I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't found one just yet. To use this circuit, we're going to place a torch here, which will feed into, these, into this register right here. Then we will adjust the value to whatever we like. So let's just go for 2 and then flip the lever and we will be at a power of 2 right here. Now if we can go over to this and give this a value of say 5, then this is now at a power of 5 and this is at a power of 2. And then let's say we wanted to just go back to 1. Well for 1 we'd have to break this and then we would flip this lever and then, as you can see, this is at a power of 1, this is at a power of 5, and there is nothing here because there is no register to hold the signal. To build this, you will place a comparator here, and then a block, and then you will build a register, like right here. Then you will place another comparator and build another register, and just build as many registers as you want. And make sure to set all of these front comparators to subtraction mode. Once we have that, we're going to form a line above the registers. And then where it's a 
register and not an allow, we will place a block in front of it. And for the allows, we will place a torch in front of it. Then we will come down and place a block like this, followed by repeaters, and then dust and dust. Finally, we will run dust along the top, the top of all of this. And then we will come over here, build a circuit like this, place a repeater that is set to two ticks, and then place a observer to toggle it on and off. So there you have it, the three main types of hex memory. Join us next time where we will be going over how to build an ALU and we'll actually begin building a PC. If you are interested in redstone hex, then do make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload about once a week and am the most active redstone hex YouTuber. If you have any questions about these designs, want to show off your own redstone creations, or just want to hang out, then do join my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.